Uh, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing uh, day six of the September Lico Daily Challenge on September. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to do this live, so join me on Discord. Im image overlap. Uh, I think I did this on a contest or something like that. Uh, I think the big thing to notice is that N is equal to 30. So, so that means that... Is there any rotation? Just up, down, left, right? Okay. So you can do uh, brute force, I think, and just slide. Uh, yeah. Can I move both left, right? How do we choose? Okay. But yeah, but I think it's just doing that and then uh, returning it. Uh, just brute force. Calculate going left end times, going right end times, going up end times, going down end times. And depending on the definition of whether we can go up or left, or sorry, uh, like combine two directions, going diagonal, um, then we might have to do some checks. But um, And so key thing to note is that moving A, uh, um, you know, down is equal to moving B up. So you only have to check moving one of these. Uh, yeah. So let's get started. Uh, what's it, are all the links the same? So n is equal to let, let's just do this then. And then now we just have to do four. Um, the in in uh one zero. Well, that's what you're zero. One one zero. Uh, zero negative one. Is zero one so that we get all the uh, possibilities of all the directions up down left right uh, we have to do more than we have to do more but yeah and then for n oops for shift say in range sub n uh, because if you move more than n then you're not, you know two things will be completely overlapped so or not overlap at all so then you don't need to do that uh, and then now we just set count to zero for x in range n for y in range n if okay so overlap is they're both one so if a sub x sub y is equal to one and b sub x i guess we have to do some bound checking first if x plus dx times shift is equal to less than n and the same for the dy then oh hmm, I guess I should do it put in a variable oh, okay fine And then now we just have to check whether that's also a one. P of nx and y is equal to one. Then we just increment count. And then now we take the best of you know best and then the max of count. I think that should be it if we have to go only in one direction. Uh, but let's kind of give it a look. Can I want to code? Yep. Oh, no. Oh, I guess we should have just read the explanation for the first one. That's okay. So now we have to add in another direction then. Uh, so let's just call this shift X and then for shift Y in range sub N. Uh, this is shift X and this is shift Y, but of course now we need hmm. think about this for a second. Um, hmm, this is a little bit awkward the way that I did it, but um. Because now, hmm, 
Two. Yeah, maybe that's okay. Oh yeah, actually, then this is just um, shift x shift y. We don't need the dxty anymore. Okay. I think I changed some stuff, and then I forgot. Um, the only thing that we have to actually maybe we do. Do we? Yeah, uh, because we want to make sure that um, we go for all the directions. So yeah. Let's try again. I was going to put in a test case to just te test the diagonals, but clearly I don't need this. Uh, okay, so <laughs> we're running into some technical difficulties. But, hmm, I messed that up. No, that looks okay. So basically, first we go uh, left, right, yeah. Hmm. Should be roughly right. Unless I'm off by one somewhere, which is possible. Oh, uh, this should be here. Okay. I guess I shifted the things, but then didn't intend this. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let's submit it because I'm relatively okay with this one. It may time out. I think that's the only case. But, but uh, okay, so if it doesn't time out, then that's fine. Um, so how fast is this, right? Well, is n to the fourth times some O of 1. So, and and yeah, n to the fourth uh, time uh, over one space, so that was pretty good. But given that n is equal to thirty, I wouldn't think that much about it. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, seems like a straightforward problem. I'm going to take a quick look at the solution. Maybe there's a better solution. But given that n is thirty, I don't think I just expected to. But let me see if I miss something obvious. And then we could we could go over together, uh, in that case. Um, yeah, okay. Shift and count linear transformation. I mean, okay, yeah, that's just still end of the fourth. Okay, yes, yeah, so we can do convolution, but that's ridiculous. Okay, so a lot of these are still end of the fourth. I don't know if there's a easier solution. So yeah, um, or not easier, just quicker solution. Cool. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this farm. Hit the like, hit the button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and I will see you tomorrow for the next farm. Bye-bye.